Welcome into the 49ers Report by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Senior. Today's video presented by Magic Spoon. For the best, healthiest, most protein-packed cereal out there on the market, go to magicspoon.com slash 49ers Report by using that link at the bottom of your screen or the link in the description of this video that allows you to get $5 off at checkout for the best, healthiest, tastiest cereal. It allows you to slim down, bulk up, get back in shape, and also enjoy a hearty bowl of delicious cereal. Is it Super Bowl or bust for the 49ers going into the 2021 season? According to NFL.com writer Adam Rank, it is Super Bowl or bust. Put together a really fascinating article diving deep into this subject. Kind of looked into whether or not Kyle Shanahan should be on the hot seat entering year five. Said, yo, for Kyle Shanahan going into year five, you made it to the Super Bowl two years ago. It's Super Bowl or bust. Kyle Shanahan has a below 500 record as the Niners coach. And with this roster and the bevy of talent on it, it's time for the Niners to make a deep run in the playoffs once again and get to the Super Bowl for the second time in three years. And if they don't, it is a bust. And I've said here on the channel, the 49ers certainly have a Super Bowl-capable roster. Let's start off by looking at Kyle Shanahan's record because he's received some flack from the Niner gang as well as some NFL pundits because he hasn't won a ton of games throughout his first four years. 2017, somewhat of a rebuilding year. Had to pick up the slot that was left previous to him. Team went 6-10. and 10. The following year, even worse at 4-12. and 12. The magical 2019 campaign kind of came out of nowhere. A lot of people didn't expect the Niners to make that run to the Super Bowl, but they did so, led by a ferocious defense en route to a 13-3 and three campaign. And last year, a disappointing season, but a reason for that, the Niners ravaged by injury. So now going into year five, Kyle Shanahan, one of the brightest offensive minds across the league at 29 and 35. I know Niners fans have said that's not good enough and there's some pressure on Shanahan going into 2021. Here's what Adam Rank had to say in that story on NFL.com. I think most people would agree that Shanahan is one of the bright young minds in the NFL today, but it's weird to think about how his career record is just 29 and 35. In four seasons as coach of the 49ers, he's produced just one winning campaign in 2019 when San Francisco went 13 and three and hit the Super Bowl. He might not have the best win-loss record in company, but there is no doubt he is among the very best at his craft. Injuries really derailed the team last season, but at some point you have to start consistently putting victories up on the board, and I feel like he can do that. He just needs to show us. His biggest test this upcoming season will be navigating the quarterback situation. That's an important note to transition to. It's the quarterback situation because... Kyle Shanahan hasn't had a consistent starter at his disposal throughout his first four years. Jimmy Garoppolo has been good when he's been on the field. He's gone 22-8 and eight as a Niner starter. Here's the problem, though. In the last three years, he has missed a total of 23 starts. And it's really hard for any coach across the league, even being the smart coach that Kyle Shanahan is, to win with backup quarterbacks. When you're trotting out guys like C.J. Beathard and Nick Mullins. I think if you were to put that scenario and put that on the plate for any coach across the National Football League, it'd be hard to compile wins even though the Niners roster during that time has been very, very talented. As long as Jimmy G or Trey Lance stay healthy, I think the wins are going to start piling up for Shanahan, especially in year five, given how talented this roster is. So is Kyle Shanahan a top five coach in your opinion? Let your opinions known. Get into the comment section and let me know. Type T for yes, he is top five. Type O for he is outside of the top five. Get your votes in. I think there's no doubt Kyle Shanahan is respected. I think he's marvelous in terms of drawing up plays, calling plays, and just overall schematics. So I'm going to go ahead and type my T for yes, Kyle Shanahan is indeed a top five coach. 49ers report by Chat Sports is presented to you today by our friends at Magic Spoon. Back in 2015, this is me when I graduated college. I was a large dude at about 215 pounds, and you look at me now, you know, I'm winning awards, I've slimmed down, I'm around 180 pounds. The problem for me back then is that late at night, when I'd be really hungry, I'd dive into a couple bowls of cereal. But those crappy cereal brands are loaded with sugar, they have no protein, and they have a bunch of carbs. The great news with Magic Spoon doesn't have any of that crap in it. Per serving, it's loaded with 13 grams of protein, zero grams of sugar, only four net carbs, and they have a bunch of delicious flavors. Fruity, frosted, cocoa, peanut butter is my personal favorite. So if you go to magicspoon.com slash 49ers report, you get $5 off at checkout. 
Here's another good reason why Magic Spoon is just killing the game right now. It's high in protein, as I mentioned. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, wheat-free, naturally flavored, totally delicious, and it is childlike cereal for grown-ups. Also, it is non-GMO. So for $5 off at checkout, use that link at the bottom of your screen right now or in the description and comment section of this video. You use that link and it allows you to get $5 off at checkout for the best cereal on the market right now. It's healthy. It's tasty. It's not that crappy cereal that we all ate growing up, which made us unhealthy people. It's packed with protein. You can start to get swole like me. You can slim down like me, just like you're seeing in these pictures right here. That story by NFL.com kind of looked at players who could break out for the Niners this upcoming season, and they said, yo, Super Bowl or bust, because these guys are on the roster and they're capable of going off. They listed Nick Bosa as the 2021 MVP for the Niners, the breakout candidate this year for the Niner gang, Brandon Ayuk, as he enters a pivotal year too, and the new face to know on this roster, center Alex Mack, who will take over center duties for Weston Richburg, who retired back a couple years ago. Really unfortunate what happened to Weston Richburg because when he was healthy, one of the best centers in the league, but to replace him with Alex Mack, I understand he's in his 30s right now on the back nine of his career, has familiarity with Kyle Shanahan's system going back to the Cleveland Browns days. Kyle Shanahan was his OC with the Atlanta Falcons, and Alex Mack is still one of the best centers in the league. He's definitely going to hold it down and be the anchor of that offensive line. As for three key dates coming up in 2021, here's what NFL.com had to say. I totally agree with it. Some awesome some games on the schedule this year, and I believe the Niners have five primetime games, a couple of them right here. Week three against the Green Bay Packers at home. Let's hope that Aaron Rodgers doesn't ask out and get traded, because if he comes to Santa Clara, maybe it's a repeat of the NFC Championship game back in 2019, when the Niners absolutely gave it to the Green Bay Packers. Week eight against the Chicago Bears. Could it be a Trey Lance versus Justin, versus Justin Fields showdown, excuse me? That'd be lit. And then week 18 against the Los Angeles Rams. We know the NFC West is going to be one of the best, if not the best divisions in football. The division crown could come down to that week 18 against the Los Angeles Rams. The big question that NFL.com has, and one of the bigger questions I have about the Niners going into this season, how are they going to be able to survive without Robert Sala, the defensive coordinator who took the head coaching job with the New York Jets? D'Amico Ryans entering his first year as D.C., Kyle Shanahan has kind of groomed him for a long time. If you're not familiar with D'Amico, he was one of the best linebackers in the league for a long time with the Houston Texans, for a short time with the Philadelphia Eagles. He has worked really hard to climb up the coaching ranks, and he has really, really impressed Kyle Shanahan as well as John Lynch. That's why he's holding it down at D.C. I don't think there's going to be a big drop-off without Robert Sala and D'Amico Ryans taking his spot. For the Niners to be successful here in 2021, what did Adam Rank say? Getting to the Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl or bust. A year ago, I talked about the Niners heading into the season with title aspirations. The biggest thing that hurt them was, well, the injuries. I know it's tough to say that a 6-10 and 10 team should have won the Super Bowl in its sights, but that's how good this roster is. The 49ers need to at least get back to the Super Bowl Sunday, or this season will seem like a waste. Do you agree with Adam Rank on this one? Pretty bold statement. Kind of said Kyle Shanahan's a little bit on the hot seat. Type Y for it. Yes, it's a Super Bowl or bust year. Type N for no. Get your votes in down below and let me know what you're thinking on this one. Subscribe to the 49ers Report and tell a friend what we're doing here at Chat Sports. We're the most interactive, the most fun, the most informative YouTube channel out there covering the Niners today. We just surpassed 36,000 subscribers. That makes us one of the largest 49ers channels here on YouTube. So if you're new to us, either hit that red subscribe button down below or go to youtube.com slash 49ers TV as we go on the road to 37,000 subscribers.